did use a slicker brush to dry him, as he is a pet. Show dogs, of course, you should use a pin brush, uh, such as this or whatever kind meets your fancy. And the comb. Okay, first thing we're going to do is going to comb his feet out and trim a little up his back legs so he doesn't bring all the garbage in the house. I prefer round curved scissors. Other people use different kinds. Just round out the feet, lift up the pad, clean the hair out from under there, and go a little ways up. Of course, you've clipped the nails and all that. Now, then you shake the pads and go a little bit up in this direction so that when he cuts, put his foot down, it's a nice clean look. Same thing with the other foot. Push the hair down, comb the hair out. You got it, baby. Shake it a little and go around. It takes practice, but you'll get there. A little bit up the back leg so we didn't drag in all this junk into your house. Rounding it out like a little cat's paw. And there you go. You've got a nice looking little front. Now, then you comb through the coat. Of course, you always hit snags. It's the breed. <laughs> or I didn't get them all the way dry. Okay. You reach underneath, you hold out the leg like this, comb down it, and do the same thing. Come around. This is why I like curved scissors. You make a little half circle. Trim the hair from underneath. Then lift it up, shake it and come up to make a little cat's paw. Now, the hops. You don't need all this hair for a pet. So, you make it a little bit cleaned off. Take all that hair from the inside and make a little tube. And trim the hair if you can reach there and he's good for you or she's good for you. Then you put any excess hair in there. There's a little tube there to walk on. Same thing with the other foot. Comb it out. Lift it up from the hawk. Shake it. Turn the hair around. a little cat's paw. A little bit on the inside. Once you don't dig into yourself, because I've done that before. Remember, see how I'm holding that scissors? This is doing all the work, the thumb. That's just a lever to hold it steady. You're not, if you put it, if you try to do like they show you in other things, you're, you're, you're unbalanced. You can't control that scissors. It's waving all over the place. So, you put your pinky on the, on the lever, that's what it's made for. Your thumb in there, and you let it do the work for you. And shake it, and make the hop like a tube. And if you want, you can take a scissors like this, and blend it in, or you can even use your fitting scissors. Be careful of that. Six parts there. <laughs> Easy baby. Okay. Now, 